Good day everyone! Today we will learn how to add Active Directory domain services and DNS server roles in Windows Server 2008 R2. This video is part of the Computer System Servicing Competencies in Setting Up Computer Server tutorial series. If you have successfully installed the Windows Server 2008 R2, you will be asked to input your password to log in. Right after you log in for the first time, the initial configuration task window will appear on your screen. If you have already set up the initial configuration task, the next thing to do is to add roles. Once you close the initial configuration task window, the server manager window will appear. It will show the server summary such as the current computer information. And currently, there are still no roles added to the server. What we need to do next is to add the ADDS and the DNS server roles. To do this, we will not use the add roles function we shall add the two roles via a command. To start, open the run command and type the command dcpromo and click OK. Wait until it finished to install the ADDS binaries. Next, an ADDS installation wizard will appear. Do not check the Use Advanced Mode installation, but just simply click Next. Then, the Operating System compatibility will appear. Just click Next. After that, you will be asked to choose a deployment configuration. Just select Create a new domain in a new forest and click Next. The next part is to name the forest root domain. You need to type the FQTN or the fully qualified domain name of the new forest root domain. Then click Next. Next step is to select the forest functional level. Click the drop-down button and select Windows Server 2008 R2, then click Next. In this part, we will add additional domain controller options. Make sure to mark check the DNS server, then click Next. A dialog box will then appear. Just simply click Yes to continue. In this part, we don't necessarily need to change the folder locations, so just click Next. Next part is to assign password for the administrator account that will be used when the domain controller is started in restore mode. Input a strong password. Just a tip, just use the same password with your server administrator account. After clicking Next, a summary of the configuration done in the server will be shown. Review the settings and click Next. Then it will now start configuring the ADDS roles. Click the Reboot on Completion and wait until the configuration is done.
right after the server restarts, the computer is then now part of the domain. Now, log it to your server. You will see that your computer is now configured as part of the domain ICT.local. Under the Roles window, you can see that there are now two new roles added, the Active Directory Domain Services and the DNS Server Roles. You can also check in the Computer System Properties that you are no longer part of a work group but to the newly added domain. That's it! You have now successfully added the ADDS and the DNS roles in Windows Server 2008 R2. Thank you for watching!